My connections go back a long way. My first job was when I was 14 during the war, not the Boer War, but the Second World War, and I worked in the guild shop, which was then in the corner of the Eaton's building at Young and Dundas, no, Young and College. And I worked uh, taking packages to the post office or measuring Catalan rugs, packing ceramics. There were two organizations going slightly different directions, but it, the interest was to come together and be a much strong, stronger force in the province of Ontario and as part of the network for crafts across Canada. I went to the Ontario College of Art after I went to school in Toronto and I studied interior architecture and design and then I went from that into the magazine business, became a visual art director for several years, including Canadian Homes and Gardens and Chatelaine Magazine, which, of course, is still thriving today. Get the young people in them. Now young people are fortunate they have professional schools where they can get good, solid training and broad training so that people can not only make beautiful things, but they know how to deliver them, how to promote their work, how to deliver things on time and be possible to win a prize in a competition. So it's a full ranging sweep of all the arts brought together. Uh, several generations of families will be at the dinner and that's good to hear about so that um, they will encourage crafts, crafts education to craft promotion, and I'm sure continue to spend their money on beautiful things in their homes. As you see in this apartment, there's quite a range of ceramics, some textiles, some photographs, largely visual things, and that's what's great. It gives me great joy to be surrounded by beautiful things. Not necessarily expensive, but some pieces I've had a long time, and they give me great pleasure.